Um, it is time for your thank yous now, your chance to thank those people who helped you in your moment of crisis, but whom you forgot to thank because everything was a bit crazy at the time in the heat of the moment. Just the one thank you this week from 72-year-old Robin Hicks from Bristol who got in touch with us. I suppose at 72 it is a bit balmy to try and drive by a motor scooter from Bristol down to North Devon. So anyhow, it was all going terribly well until I got to Taunton and there was a sort of rather unusual smell and the bike wouldn't start. So I got off and discovered that the battery was boiling. Didn't know quite what to do, lots of traffic around. And two charming young men just sort of came up to me and said, do you want a bump start? Well, mine's an automatic, can't do that. Well, there's a garage over there. We'll push you there, Guff, they said. So they said, get on. So they pushed me at uh, <laughs> quite a speed. I said, uh, keep below 30, lads. Anyhow, jumped me up into this uh, Volkswagen garage, shook my hands, wished me a good day. And uh, I potted in, um, not knowing what was happening, still got my helmet on. And uh, somebody said, you better sit down. And uh, would you like a glass of water? And I said, look, my scooter's broken down. And they said, that's fine. Tell me the, the name of the scooter and the CC, which I did. And they rang somebody. And I thought, this is quite absurd. This is a car garage. Anyhow, a man came out and he said, can I have the keys? And he had looked and he said, um, oh, he said, your battery's uh, bored. He said, look, I could start you, but uh, you'll probably catch fire. And I said, well, look, this is all rather embarrassing. I, I'm meant to be down in Devon to see some people I was at agricultural college with. Look, he said, oh, we'll sort the bike out. We'll take it to a, a bike garage. I said, look, I think I'd better go back to Bristol and get my car. Fine, they said. Here's Karen. She'll drive you. So Karen got me in the car, drove me to Taunton Station. Now, I don't know any of these people. And all of this happened. It was like a dream. So when I arrived at my old Seal Haney and agricultural do, I sort of sat around with the, uh, our pastors and said, look, the most extraordinary thing has happened. People are sometimes quite rude about the young. And I told this story with a lot of passion. And a voice who I recognized, it was Judy Dench, said, good heavens, Robin, that's such a wonderful story. You better tell that nice vicar on Saturday morning on Radio 4. So, nice vicar, this is Robin Hicks saying thank you very much, but thank you particularly for Karen Lloyd, who's the after-sales advisor, Brian Gale, who is the workshop controller. I didn't think there was such kindness in the world. I don't know why you did it for me. You made one old man very happy indeed and very proud of our nation and our nice people. I want to say-